All right, so there are two essential pieces of software that you're gonna need to install before um, we actually do the LibreChat install. The first is Docker Desktop, and the second is uh, a piece of software called Git. So Docker is basically a tool that developers use to create applications and run them in a, a package, and these packages are called containers. So basically, um, that container can run on any system that supports Docker. So it can run on Windows, um, it can run on Linux, and uh, everything that's in that, everything the application needs to run is within that package, within that container. So that's what that is. And then Git is basically um, a tool that allows you to uh, keep track of uh, your files and your um, changes to your files. So it's like a versioning system, put it that way. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come here, you're on Windows, this is a Windows uh, installation video, so you're gonna actually click on this AMD64, download it, okay? And then uh, like you do that from the docker.com site. Then you'll come over to uh, this, this site, git-scm.com, okay? And again, you will download the 64-bit Windows setup. Now, what we're gonna do is clone the repo, which just means we are going to take all of these files here and copy them to our local machine. So um, we do that by hitting the code button. Come here, we click the copy URL to clipboard. Okay, and then we come to our command line we type git git clone right click and uh, then press enter okay and so now it's copying those files it copied those files over into and created a directory called LibreChat. okay so now we change directories into LibreChat by typing cd space lib and then i press the tab key to finish um, the name of the directory, press enter, and now we can uh, we can do a uh, dir. So what we need to do is actually start Docker Desktop. So we'll come here. We will click on Docker. Sorry, I should have done that earlier. All right, we're going to accept the terms. personal use. Um, we're going to skip this. We don't need to do any of that. Yeah, that's fine. Skip. We're not taking any surveys right now. We don't have time for that. All right. So now it says the engine has been stopped and we actually need to start the engine. So um, the way we do that, oh, I'm sorry, it's actually starting. Okay, so we just have to wait. Before we can actually create the containers, we have to create the what's called an environment file. Very easy to do. But basically this file has a lot of different settings in it. It's where you'll actually put um, your API keys that you'll use within LibreChat. But we'll, we'll get into that. Let's just go ahead and, and do this. So we're gonna do a uh, copy. So we're gonna do cp.env.example. 
um, which is right here. So we're gonna take that file and we need to actually just create a .env file. So um, what we're doing here is we're, we're, we're saying, hey, copy this file uh, and create a new file that's just called .env, all right? And of course, we're doing CP and I think I'm, in, I'm doing that because I'm thinking I am in Linux, which I am not. <laughs> all right, let's use copy instead. All right, so one file copy. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our environment file uh, with notepad here. And then we're gonna scroll down to the open AI section where uh, you can enter your API key, which you should have already if you haven't signed up for one yet. And then um, what we're going to do is uncomment the open AI models section here. And then we're just gonna use the most popular models that are currently out. So I'm gonna go and delete the rest of these. And then I'll, I'll save the file. But again, don't forget to put in your API user key. And then let's do, um, actually docker-compose. This is what will actually start creating the containers that have the software that will allow the um, Libre chat application to run. So Docker and Compose, Docker dash Compose, uh, space up. Okay, now it's working. Okay, so here you can see all of the different components to Libre chat. You can see that they're all running. Um, you know, like, you know, this one, this MongoDB one is where actually all your chat history is stored. This Melly Search is the one that's used to search through all of your um, chat history if you choose to do a search. Uh, this is the actual LibreChat application. And then, you know, these are just some other um, um, additional like features that are part of the LibreChat application, which I'm not going to go into right now. We'll, we'll do a separate video on those. All right, but they're all running. Everything looks good. Um, and it's port 3080 that we want to connect to. So click on that. It brings us to LibreChat. Okay, so here at this point, you would actually um, log in and set up an account or set up an account and then log in. So here you click sign up. Right? And this first account that you're creating is actually um, the admin account. So just keep that in mind. And I'll just say, hey, uh, test admin, um, I don't know, test user. I'll also say, you no, know, tutorial dash user, whatever. Um, Email. I'm not going to use that email. I'm going to use. Uh, I'll just use uh, email, a throwaway email that I have. Um, create a password for it. Um, okay. Let me click continue. Registration successful. So keep in mind, it didn't really send, you just set it up. So it's not actually, you know, like sending a, 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 a verification email or anything like that to your email address yet because you haven't set all that up. It's just the first time set up. So you're just gonna use the same information you just used to log in, right? So. So, okay. so now we click on, well, we don't have to click anything. We just say, we're using GPT-4.0, let me say, 
Hello, are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right. I should only see these three now. Okay. 